Hey guys, I hope everybody's doing well. So today's reading is going to be for Divine Soulmates where there is a karmic or third party element involved. I will be doing the reading as if it is the masculine who is involved with a karmic situation, karmic partner, third party, but of course it could be the other way around. Um, so just take the messages as they make sense for you. And also it is general, so of course it's not going to be for everybody's situation, all right? If you want a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. And yeah, do feel free to send me any questions about the personal readings if you have any. Um, <clears throat> so before we get started, um, I actually just want to say something real quick that I've been getting for some of the feminines, all right? Um, might not be for all of you, but... I've been getting that for some of you, things have been happening to make you feel like this connection is done to the point where you don't have any control, even if you wanted. Um, for some of you, this could be something that has already happened and maybe um, it's already been resolved. Um, for others of you, it could be happening now and then for others of you, it could be something that is coming up, okay? So just um, to keep that in mind so that you are a little bit prepared for that. Um, so it, it could be anything. It could be that either something that you did that makes you feel like you pushed the masculine away or maybe it's something that's happening for them, like um, a third party being pregnant, um, an engagement, um, possibly even just one of the two of you moving locations, a sick child. It, it could be anything, okay? Just about anything that's making you feel like, all right, you know what? Like this is like so impossible. If this is you, if you are going through this or have gone through this, or if it does come up for you um, soon, just know that you're part of a collective and that things are happening as they should, all right? There's there's a reason for all of this. Just go with the flow regardless. Um, if things are happening to make you feel like it's done, just allow yourself to feel like it's done. It's okay. If you're feeling defeated, allow that too, okay? Release the control. That's why this is happening. And just trust, just trust the process and that you're going to be okay no matter what. And, you know, you're meant to find fulfillment. You're meant to find happiness. You're meant to reach your full potential in this lifetime. So you will always be guided towards that no matter what. So, okay, now that I've gotten that out of the way, um, <clears throat> let's get into the reading. So we're going to start by looking at what is going on for the masculine. <clears throat> and we'll be taking a look both at their energy towards their karmic situation as well as towards their feminine. So first card out, we have the third chakra, Archangel Camel. Okay, so I do just take to tend, sorry, I do tend to just take the chakras, not the archangels, but of course, um, if this is significant to you, you can definitely take that. So this would be the solar plexus chakra. This is all about the masculine. What's coming in is that they're really um, trying to balance out their sense of control over this situation. All right, so this could even be related to what I was just saying <clears throat> for the feminine. So because you are connected, right, and there is mirroring. For them, it's a matter of gaining control. For you, it's a matter of releasing control. Okay, so it's kind of like the more you do your part when it comes to control, the more it could help them energetically. So let's see what else we get. Things have been shaky for them when it comes to um, feeling whether they are capable. Whether they are capable to move towards what they are um, guided. All right, we have guide here. And, and so this is what they are trying to really um, work on right now is their sense of Capability, like am I able, do I have what it takes, their strength, in other words, to take control over my life and to be able to really put out that power that needs to be put out in order for me to overcome obst obstacles. All right, so we have guide, compromise, reinvention, and we have family. All right, so this could definitely be um, a group of masculines where there is family involved, okay? It doesn't necessarily have to be marriage and children. I do get the sense that for a lot of you that um, that this reading will resonate with, that will be the case. 
um, but it could definitely just be family in general, like parents or siblings or just um, even their culture, right, could even um, go under family. So this is someone who is strongly influenced by the fact that, by their family, all right? And what they are realizing and what it is that they need to really exert this control over and just kind of get the, their own self under control, because I feel like there has been a bit of a freaking out kind of a phase, um, is to really reinvent their idea of family and what that means, or reinvent the concept of um, family traditions or cultural traditions, because that has been implanted in them from their family, all right? And they understand, or they're understanding now, this is what they're being guided to understand, is that, yeah, you know, if I am to have what I want and to really be in my full power and manifest whatever it is that I want and be true to myself, there is something that I have to compromise. And whatever that compromise is, it relates to family and having to reinvent that idea. So I feel like right now the masculines are really um, thinking very strongly or just working with these thoughts and these ideas uh, when it comes to family. So how how can I, you know, compromise what what has been taught to me or the stereotypes that I know or maybe compromise... Um, in the sense of having to disappoint certain family members or, you know, having, if, if it's children, you know, not living in the same house with children, for example. That would be the compromise. So they're in the process of reinventing their ideas of family understanding a compromise is needed. All right, so... All right, let's um, <clears throat> get into the tarot. So let's see, their energy currently towards their karmic partner or karmic situation. So we have the Two of Swords, which was completely sideways. I, the way it was, for me it would be in reverse, but I'm actually just taking it upright for now, keeping in mind it was sideways. So, <clears throat> oh, and the High Priestess in reverse, as well as the Queen of Wands. All right, so the Masculine, yeah, there's a little bit of a back and forth. I feel like that's why it was sideways. There's a little bit of a back and forth, but this is what, um, this is what they're working on, right, with that third chakra here, the solar plexus, um, being a little bit, it's back and forth, clean and simple. It's back and forth between using their assertiveness and, and um, their intuition and not following their intuition. So it's a little bit of, okay, I'm here when I'm here, I don't want to be here, you know, and once they start thinking about moving away from the karmic, you know, and start thinking about um, whatever it is that is keeping them there, for example, family or the traditions, the beliefs, whatever that is, um, then they start freaking out, wanting to go back. As soon as they begin to feel comfortable with the idea of going back, they freak out and want to move away from that. So really what this is all about is about them learning how to trust their intuition. All right, that's why we have the High Priestess in reverse. Number one, number two, I'm also getting that this is something that they're not able to hide. So this back and forth is pretty apparent to the karmic partner as well. Um, so I feel like the, the masculine right now to the karmic situation, all right, especially if it's a person, if it's a partner, they're coming off as being really in their headspace, not knowing what's going on. I feel like they're even coming across as being a little bit dazed. I'm actually going to clarify now before we move on. <clears throat> so let's clarify this two of swords. All right, and we have the lovers. 
back and forth between that choice <clears throat> that they have to make. Um, but I, what I'm getting here is that they're leaning, it's like the pull towards, towards the Divine Feminine is stronger at the moment. So you might be able to pick up on that. You might be already feeling that from your masculine. It's stronger towards towards the Divine Feminine. And that's why we also have the Queen of Wands here at the end, because this is them being assertive. Finding that assertiveness, knowing that they have to push through and get through the back and forth feelings, and that, that going back and forth is natural. It's, it's normal to feel that way, but that doesn't mean that I need to go back. <clears throat> I need to go forwards. All right, so clarifying the High Priestess, we have the Eight of Swords. Yeah, so exactly, when they're not following their intuition, right, when they kind of <clears throat> put that to the side because where their intuition is guiding them, it feels scary, it feels um, unknown, it feels like it's something very, very difficult. Once, when they're not listening to their intuition, it actually ends up leading them to more fear. And it leads them to feeling trapped because when they're not listening to their intuition, they're back um, to, the, to where they were and where they are now or, and where they were um, was making them feel trapped, right? They feel trapped in this connection. Let's see the Queen of Wands. Four of Pentacles in reverse. So when they're feeling assertive, that's when they feel like they can release, obviously, the situation. So that's their, <clears throat> I feel like they're, because we already know that the masculine has been back and forth, right? Especially in these situations. I mean, I guess maybe not for everybody. For, for a lot of them, they were stuck and they were in denial for a long time. This particular group is at that point where I feel this group has been back and forth for a while, but now the way it's showing up is that this back and forth is very, very much, um, they're very aware of it. They're very much conscious of this back and forth and they're tired of that back and forth. And it's like, this is what they are realizing that every time I go back, I feel trapped when I don't listen to my intuition. When I am assertive and I find that confident, right, solar plexus, I feel like I can release and I feel a sense of release and I feel more free. So let me just get a couple more to see more specific what their energy is like um, towards their karmic partner or a karmic situation, just apply the messages as they make sense. And also, if your situation does not involve um, family at all, this this just might not be your reading, all right? We might tap into different groups in a different reading. <clears throat> so let's see. All right, <clears throat> the Seven of Swords in reverse, the Knight of Cups in reverse. Let me just get one more. <clears throat> and the Ten of Pentacles. All right. All right, so whatever, whatever deceitful behavior the masculine was having, towards the karmic partner, which could be um, being there without wanting to be there, right? Or maybe um, talking with their divine feminine um, secretly. They're beginning to um, step away from that, either that or they are be becoming more honest about that, all right? There's something here about them not being so sneaky anymore towards the karmic partner and being more open about the fact that 
that they're not feeling any um, romantic feelings towards them. They're not feeling that romantic type of love. Um, they don't want to be there. <clears throat> so this is out in the open. And that basically, they still feel though, again, with the Ten of Pentacles, um, to me this is like that family commitment. That the reason why they're there is because of the family commitment. So, or, you know, whatever, whatever that is for or means for each of them. So let's, um, <clears throat> let's clarify these. So there's definitely no affection here for this group, right? The masculine is just here um, at the moment, <clears throat> if they're there. They're there just for the practical reasons, for the commitment, for the responsibilities um, to provide that sort of a thing. All right, so clarifying this row, we have the Page of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, and the Two of Cups in reverse. I feel like this is something new for, for this group. Um, they may have been a little bit transparent about this from before, but I feel like there's something new here. They're feeling more um, confident. It still feels like it's new though, for whatever reason. So maybe they've taken it to the next level. Maybe they are being even more transparent than they were before, or maybe they're making some kind of a move. I feel like there is something here that is being initiated. Um, <clears throat> Especially when it and even communicated, especially when it comes to okay, how can we make this work? Like, what is it that you need from me? How can I pay off my obligations? Or, you know, what responsibilities do I need um, to give here? But, you know, other than that, Two of Cups in reverse, just like we have the Knight of Cups in reverse here, this love is done. Like, literally, what I just said that I'm only here for the practical aspects which could be financial maybe they have um, maybe they share a house maybe they have a mortgage to pay together who knows it, it could be anything it could be anything for each of them it's going to be um, slightly different but basically there's some kind of I feel communication when it comes to this even exchange like okay what do, what am I going what do you need from me or how can we make this work? What, do, what are we each going to do? How are we going to share certain responsibilities? So <clears throat> I feel like this is for a very specific group here, but you might know if this is um, if this is your situation. All right, so let's take a look at the masculines energy towards their Divine Feminine. So we have the Four of Cups together with the Page of Pentacles, and then we have the Two of Cups in reverse together with the Hierophant. All right. There's a lot of um, disappointment here. A lot of disappointment when it comes to what it is that they have been able to give to you currently. Um, <clears throat> I will be clarifying these. I almost feel like they're they're either ignoring you to some extent, like maybe they have pulled back a little bit and it might feel like um, you're being ignored or maybe you are kind of ignoring them. All right, one of the two, or they're just feeling really disappointed here when it comes to what it is that they were able to give to you. And especially when it comes to the fact that they're not in this together with you. That they're, that they're not able to give you this love because they feel like this is such um, a deep, strong, and spiritual connection. So let me clarify. <clears throat> so 
to the Four of Cups. All right, so I got a whole bunch here. <clears throat> oh, okay, wow, that is a lot. All right, so the first one out is the Knight of Swords. We also have, <clears throat> all right, give me one sec, guys, this was a lot. The King of Pentacles in reverse, the Nine of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, and the Seven of Swords. All right, <clears throat> and I'm so sorry that I keep clearing my throat. Um, it happens in some readings, and I still haven't really figured out why. Um, so they're, okay, so basically what this is saying is that they're feeling a disappointment for a lot of things, and this is something that they are really beginning to understand, and they're thinking about this. It's not like they're just feeling disappointed. Like, I'm not just saying that just to say that. No, they are consciously thinking about how they have treated you. <clears throat> it's almost coming in as them being able to really put themselves in your place and and view the situation and view their behavior from your point of view not 100 percent but to a very great extent i'm seeing a lot of um especially with this ace um sorry it's not the ace of cups it's the queen of cups no wonder it was coming in as compassion because i was going to say compassion but it's the ace of cups no it's the queen of cups <laughs> So I was getting the right message, thinking it was a different card, though. Very interesting. Um, a lot of deep understanding and deep compassion for your perspective and what it is that they have put you through, all right? The fact that they were not able to be this king of pentacles for you, the fact that they were not able to provide for you, not give you the commitment, not, be, not being there in the physical, providing that commitment to you. Um, this is causing, this is giving them a lot of restlessness, number one, um, together with that disappointment, it's actually pushing them to want to do something. I feel like they don't even really know what, what they want to do. <clears throat> like how can they make it up to you, right? Feeling disappointment for not having been, <clears throat> been single or not having had the self-worth to be able to provide more to you and for having been um, deceitful in whatever way. I'm also getting here that <clears throat> obviously with this page of pentacles, right, just as they, there's this initiation here with the karmic partner, right, to have an even... <clears throat> um, to figure things out when it comes to the practical issues in terms of responsibility, but to end the, the love, to end the connection, to end the um, whatever arrangement they have. There's also this initiation with you to begin taking those steps. So we have the world in reverse and the ace of wands. All right, I see. So the masculine feels like they have, this is clarifying the two of cups in reverse. Um, the masculine feels like they have deteriorated to an extent your relationship. Like, you know, um, we're not this two of cups anymore. We, we don't have this, um, this, you know, sweet romantic um, relationship connection that we once had, um, the give and take that was there, whatever it was that we were sharing. They feel like that has been um, deteriorated by them. That's another reason why they're feeling so disappointment. And I feel like what they are kind of struggling with here is, is to believe and to understand that, well, it doesn't mean that it's done. Just because we're not together now in the way that we used to be, just just because we're, things between us um, might be a little bit 
conflicting or tense or cold or you know whatever the situation is for you it doesn't mean that it is done there is there is the um, ability to reignite this we can start over it can be fixed it can be mended and re-spark from the beginning Let's clarify the Hierophant. So a lot of this, I mean, depending on whether you are in contact or not, a lot of this you might be able to um, pick up on. Let's see the Hierophant. And I know that some of you also do your own reading, so I would be interested to know if you get um, similar, similar energies come through. So definitely let me know in the comments if you do, if that is the case. All right, so clarifying the Hierophant, we have the Empress and we have the Queen of Swords. Wow, okay. So not only is this that the masculine um, views you and your connection as something like so deep and spiritual, just a, a, really different than anything else right seeing you as this empress but i feel like what this is also saying is that the masculine also feels like they have learned a lot from you it's like they you have been an example to them like when you are standing strong in your own power as this empress setting your boundaries being firm not accepting anything less than what you deserve demanding your respect that's an example for them. They have learned so much from you and you probably are not even um, aware of that. So it might be that you know you might have tried to help them in the past, maybe you were communicating to them, telling them things, and maybe they were kind of sh either shutting you out or just not um, really paying attention or, or just disagreeing with you. I don't know, just an example. Um, they actually take those messages, but it takes a while for them to actually process them they actually have learned a lot from you and they have learned a lot by your example. All right, that's the message here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get just a few Oracle cards for the um, feminines because I feel like um, I talked a little bit about the feminines in the beginning of this video. So I'm just gonna get just a couple Oracle cards, any messages that wanna come through for you. And then we'll take a look at what is coming up. So let's see. Which, I mean, even this could be what is coming up. Right? All right, and for you, we have the sixth chakra, Archangel Metatron. All right, so this is your third eye chakra. Um, so yeah, definitely, for the feminines, your third eye chakra, I feel is, um, it's either, it's either feeling very, very strong right now, or it's about to begin to open even more, okay? So, and I feel like the message here is to really trust your intuition, right? Trust what you, what you get intuitively. Don't, don't doubt yourself. Your intuition right now is very spot on. Obviously, you know, if you let fear get in the way, your intuition will be compromised. Um, so don't allow that to happen. Let's see what else. Where are the feminines? Some of you might be having some very um, spiritual dreams. Or intuitive dreams. Alright, we have action and surrender. Okay, what an awesome combination. Because it can feel very um, contradictory, right? Taking action and surrendering. So this is combining both. Yes, you can take action, but take action in the direction of surrender. That is action in and of itself. Like if you feel like you need to do something or you want to do something, you're being called to surrender. Work on that, allowing things to be what they are and really focusing on actions that you need to take for yourself but surrender when it comes to this um situation which is exactly what i was saying in the beginning of this video right to releasing that control 
surrender to what it is. It is what it is, right? Um, but I, I'm really getting here. This particular group of masculines, they're really moving forward here. They're in the process of figuring out the practical issues um, with the karmic partner in order to be able to move away. They're being very honest at the moment. They're not wanting to, to be deceitful anymore about how they feel and as to the reasons why they are staying here. All right, they are reinventing their idea of family or of, you know, whatever these beliefs were. Um, so let's see what is coming up in the next couple of weeks for the masculines in the karmic situation. So we have the Hermit, the Ace of Swords, and the Ace of Cups was, was sideways, so may or may not be in reverse. It doesn't really matter. Um, I will take it upright just, um, just because. <laughs> All right. We already know that there's no love um, in this connection when it comes to romance. All right. Um, so it doesn't really matter. So yeah, with the Hermit being here, there is still, um, there might still be a lot of contemplating, still a lot of thinking, but this is also withdrawal and a lot of soul searching. And I feel like this soul searching is going to be um, based in what they truly feel, what they truly want. And it's also leading to action. All right. So there is some action, that, especially when it comes to, um, I feel moving away from this connection, but it's like they're doing it in a way where, you know, even if this was in reverse, it doesn't matter. Um, this would just um, represent the fact that yes, you know, like this, this connection is, is complete. Like it's just done. The cycle is complete is what I mean. All right. But they want to do it in a way where there is still um, some compassion. There is love. All right. It doesn't have to be romantic love though, which we're already seeing is not. It's not. Okay. So this is the masculine coming up, withdrawing from this connection more and really going deep to find it their truth and to find out how and what kind of action needs to be taken especially in order because they in order to have love in their life so yeah i know it's not as specific um, but this is a general reading all right Let's see their energy towards their feminine in the near future. I might clarify. I'm actually going to clarify that Ace of Swords. So let's see the energy towards the feminine coming up. What can we expect? All right. <laughs> Spirit's like um, nothing. All right, let's see. Apparently, there's a very specific card or cards that need to come out. There we go. All right, we have the Three of Swords, the Devil in Reverse, and Strength in Reverse. All right. There's some heartbreak. There's some heartbreak that is coming up for them. Um, I feel it's them also, I, I feel like actually there's like a, um, there's like a leaking through of, of energies from, um, concerning their karmic situation and concerning their, their connection with the divine feminine. All right. It's kind of hard to explain, but basically this, this heartbreak that they're feeling they're feeling it. This is what you will see. All right. You will see them being heartbroken, feeling sad. Um, if you're not in contact with them, you might pick up on it or you might um, become aware of it from, I don't know, any other source. All right. Um, this has to do with the, with the karmic situation. So they're going to appear heartbreaking. They're also feeling a lot of sadness when it comes to you as well. 
And I feel like mostly that's because they're having a hard time dealing with whatever it is that is going on in the karmic situation. Right? That's why we have the devil in reverse. It's because they are releasing the karmic cycle. They are releasing the karmic situation. But it's not easy. It causes them heartbreak. And I feel like that is going to actually, if you are in contact, it's going to really... Um, seep into your connection or into your interactions and the masculine will appear to be very weak um and so you might get some strange energies from them so let me clarify this ace of swords that we have here for the um for their energy towards towards the karmic Was way too many. So we have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, you know, they're taking action. Let me get one more. They're taking action away from this connection or taking action for whatever needs to happen in order for them to pull away from the connection, but in a way where nobody is going to feel um, left out. Although that's not always really possible. Like somebody will feel that way, the karmic might feel that way, the masculine is going to feel that way, but this is just what their goal is, this is what they're trying to do, yeah, the six of wands in reverse, um, yeah, I feel like they're trying to, they're trying to move away from that connection in a way where it's going to be the least painful possible, but like I said, that's not always possible, right? Six of Wands in reverse, I feel like that's going to be, they're going to come to this realization that, you know what, that that's just, it, it can't work that way. It can't always be that way. Sometimes we do need to disappoint other people in order to go after what it is that we want. And it's a lesson, you know, it's a lesson for everybody involved. It's a lesson for, for the masculine, it's a lesson for the karmic partner, it's a lesson for any other family members um, that are involved in this. It's a lesson for everybody. So I feel like that's going to be their challenge here coming up let's see um did i want to clarify anything here we'll just get one clarifier just for this row for the feminines um their energy towards the feminines all right we have the four of wands sideways so Yeah, I feel like they're they're feeling like they're not very stable, actually, all right? The way that I saw this. They're feeling like they're not very stable. They're not going to be feeling very secure, okay? So that might um, be apparent to you coming up. And this is exactly why. This is, this is a part of it. This is what needs to happen because that is the solar plexus chakra, right? Trying to find its balance. This is what their challenge is coming up and this is what they are meant to overcome, to really find that power, to really find that strength, to really find that um, sense of stability within their own power, all right, even if they are heartbroken here. So they're going to be heartbroken because of the karmic and they're also going to be heartbroken because of you as well because they, they're not able to provide to you because they're not feeling um, stable within their own self. All right, so let's get the final oracle messages if this resonated. Actually, yeah, let's use this deck. All right, and we have Treasure Island. Give me one sec. And Exchanging Gifts. All right, so yeah, this is, I feel like this Exchanging Gifts, it's very similar to that Six of Pentacles. Um, this is all about that balance when it comes to how much am I giving here, how much am I giving there. It's all right now the masculine is feeling very, um, insecure when it comes to how much they can provide to you and how much they can also 
um, live up to their responsibilities in their other situation. But we also do have Treasure Island, okay? So after this, while this is being worked on and balanced out, it's leading to to them really feeling this fulfillment and for you as well, right? The Treasure Island, it's like the Ten of Pentacles. Complete abundance, finding that treasure. So yeah, you know what? I actually feel like it's complete, so I'm gonna leave it at that. Um, I hope this made sense and I thank you guys so much for watching and much love.